Okay, good morning, everybody. I'm Sue Coffin, numerologist, and I'm here with my dear friend, Dorothy Morgan, who's an astrologer, and she's going to talk to us about the upcoming um, plan planets and what they're doing. I know that Mercury retrograde goes into uh, his little action at the end of the month of June, but Dorothy yeah. has told me there's more stuff going on, so I'm very anxious, so welcome, yeah. Dorothy. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Hello, everybody. You can yeah. find me right here on my website, yeah. Weekly Forecasts. So today, what um, Sue and I, and Sue's going to ask me questions if I get to astrologies. <laughs> yeah. It's great, which is great. Sometimes I need an interpreter, but I try my best to give you like really plain words. But again, if there's something astrology spoken, the next sentence is going to be what it means. Okay. okay. And if you need more clarification, you can ask. And you know, wherever we post this, your friends can ask questions and they can ask me too. Correct. Yeah. But it's for, I have no problem being available for stuff like that because I want you guys to get the most you can out of this. Right. And so, you know, three times a year, Sue and I have been doing this for a little while. I can't remember how long, a year or two. Yeah. And Mercury retrogrades. And everybody in pop culture, pop astrology, most everybody's heard of Mercury retrograde. They, they, they blame him for all the troubles, but he's not responsible for all the troubles. I mean, he is a little mischievous. He's known as, you know, uh, he is Mercury. So and the trickster. But this time, uh, Mercury will retrograde coming up in June, all right? Now, depending on your time zone, if you're in um, anywhere um, west of Pacific time zone, it is on the 18th, I believe. Dep look at, you have to look at your own time zone. Here's what it is. June 17th on the west coast of the United States, it's um, at 9.59 p.m., and if you're here in the East Coast, like Sue and I are, it will be June 18th at 12.59 a.m., so just before one in the morning on the 18th. And Mercury is going to retrograde in the sign of Cancer. But one of the things we have going on right now is Venus retrograde at the time we're recording this on May 29th. And Venus is retrograde, and she's not even quite halfway through this retrograde cycle. That happens on June 3rd. Lots of good information in my weekly video forecast. So go on to here or to YouTube and get the weekly forecast. It's fantastic. It's all free. But what's going on with that is Venus is retrograde in the sign of Gemini. Now, she only retrogrades once every 18 months. And so, and it's in Gemini this time. That only happens every eight years. Because wow. Venus has an eight-year cycle. And she retrogrades in five different signs. Once in a while, she'll sneak into another. Five different signs in an eight-year time period. And so where that retrograde is, if we were to look at it from our place in space, it makes this five-pointed star. Beautiful. Oh, wow. In an eight-year cycle. It is such a gorgeous thing. You look up the Venus, uh, the Venus sun cycle, you'll see it. It just looks like a spirograph. It's just so beautiful with the five-pointed star. So the reason we're talking about this is because Venus retrograde in Gemini, Gemini is information. And Mercury in the natural chart, every planet has a sign that they're in charge of. And then as they're moving around, they have to move through all the energies is in charge of Gemini. So we got a double whammy here. It okay. feels incredibly difficult for a lot of people. Now, there's many ways to use this. I like to, to go as, as positive as possible. So Venus retrograde in Gemini, general, general information is speaking up, the truth coming out. There is a lot of, um, a lot of cases, we can see it in the world right now, freedom of speech. Freedom is being like, like what's the right word? I can't remember the right word, but ah. Compressed, it's being <laughs> yes, thank compressed, you. yeah. Yeah, we're being oppressed. But then there's things going on, a tragic um, yes. murder, in Michigan, uh, Minnesota. I mean, and it's just all of these things. We're seeing these things in the world around us. This is speech coming up. Things that we know are the truth are coming up. We're in eclipse season as well, where our first eclipse is June 5th. We have three in a row, powerful activators. They're already active now already. So, and that's Gemini and Sagittarius. The eclipse is really near Venus retrograde. All of this is going on right now before we even get to Mercury retrograde. Mm. 
very, very strong energy. The eclipse that we have coming up, it's not exact, but it's near Donald Trump's sun and moon because he was born on the Gemini Sag, this eclipse okay. in the year he was born. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely going to activate him. And I mean, he's already um, in, in the public eye in a huge amount of, huge amount of ways. Right. So Right. And it doesn't matter whatever political party you're in, but it's just, he is very much in the spotlight with this. And so the rest of us and communicating. And so that's the big picture. And I could talk about that for hours and we only have 20 minutes. Right. So just know that we're in it. You don't have to expect more, but we can still expect what we're seeing in the world right now to continue. Okay. Because of all these retrograde planets, we have three other planets retrograde, Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto. Neptune will soon. Uranus will at the end of the year. Mars will at the end of the year. That's Mars in September. That's going to be a big one. Huge. We'll talk about that in right. another video because it's the fall. And I right. know you said September is big for numerology. It is very big. Yeah. Yeah. So moving to, I know that's a mouthful. That's a lot of information. There's so, so much going on what uh for individually for the people uh we're we are also feeling that so the, that oppression um on a, on our own level uh, yes. and and it's asking us to reach down and speak our truths it's doing that exactly and especially when it comes to venus because one of the things that venus is in charge of what we love what we value who we love our relationships right and a lot of people a lot of couples and families, I mean, people have been together in ways that we haven't been together before. You go to work, you get your break from your spouse. And I mean, you love your spouse and this has brought you closer, beautiful. But that's right. not the case for a lot of people. That's right. the case for some people, brings you together even more. And another thing it's going to do is bring those communication pieces together so you can communicate with each other, be truthful with each other, and honest with each other. And that's what this Venus retrograde is all about in this time. And it peaks, it's midpoint, it's not even a peak, but it's midpoint, it's June 3rd, when the Sun and Venus actually come together as I called an inferior conjunction. Venus is inside the Sun, where we would be able to see it if we could look straight into the Sun, but we can't, tiny little dot, that only happens every 18 months. So that is incredible all of this going on right before eclipses, which again are about your Gemini and Sagittarius, speaking our truth, listening deeply, do that on your personal level. So the globe and the world is doing stuff. If it's overwhelming, shut it off. Right. Yeah. Definitely. You can be informed, but if it's too much, mm -hmm. that's not good. That's detrimental. Right. So, but inform yourself in the best way possible and then share with those you love, share information that needs to come up and out. This is what we have to do. It's a very karmic time to be discussing a lot of so things. Actually, what it's doing is it's trying it's trying to pull us all together and be honest again and to to look at life um, directly and yes. be honest with everybody. Yeah, and oh, work authentically cool. and be authentic. Yeah. And I'm saying a lot of words that are very similar to what Mercury retrograde in Cancer is all about. Okay. Because Mercury rules Gemini. Venus is in Gemini in retrograde. Mercury is going to retrograde before Venus is done. So they'll both be backing up in the sky at the same time okay. for a few days. Venus turns direct on June 24th. But the point is, it's like, it is about being very authentic. Now you look at the world around us, you know, and a lot of people, um, you know, 40% of the people who earn under 40,000 a year are now unemployed, right? I, that's just right. a statistic, yeah. but getting the unemployment. But then it's thinking in the, in the clients I talk to and they're like, I don't want to go back. Mm -hmm. And it's not because, well, you know, earning a little more money on unemployment is like way better than the crap job they had, but they right. don't want to go back to that crap job. Right. It's being true to yourself. Uh -huh. So we're having these opportunities to even look at what that looks like. Mm. And how well, a lot of self-reflection unbelievable amount of self-reflection oh, cool. it's absolutely huge and so those are the things that we have going on just in a nutshell it's like huh? <laughs> yeah well you can see why yeah. people are so anxious and they're so um unsure yes. because yes. this is out of our element right all of it we right. are living in interesting times and that is the chinese proverb yeah. but it's 
<laughs> and it's not a great one. <laughs> and we are in it. We are right. absolutely in it now. There is no doubt about it. And again, if if you're feeling too much anxiety and stress about this, first thing is you detach from all that information. There is nothing else you need to know right now. Right. Live your life and get in your zone, right. get into your present moment, yeah. do the things that calm you down if you're feeling anxiety. And even the best of us, out of the blue, I mean, this is unusual circumstances. Right. No doubt, even out of the blue, you need to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. You think you've got it. And then all of a sudden one day it's like, why can't I focus? And, right. and you get down on yourself because it should be a productive day. You've had all this free time for two months. Right. You should have been doing all these things. No, it's right. stressful. We're in a pandemic. The last one was a hundred years ago. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's not now, are, new. Are the planets themselves, is this unusual? What's no. happening right now? Well, not well. See, they have cycles that they come and go. I mean, like you know, Venus is eight years. They're just the cycles are just very unique. So I can't really say are they the same. Not exactly. No. Right. But we have had you know, a, we, you can. I'm not the, a historical astrologer. So, but there are people that do that, and they'll say, well, the last time this was this, this is what happened. Yeah. I just research it myself. I'm not. Yeah. That's not my gig. I want to help right. people regularly. But other people can do that research and this helps right. me. So it's awesome. But yeah. know that when Saturn and Pluto were together, that was the first time they've been together for a very long time. So we knew that something that this is crumbling of governments, cr crumbling of systems, seeing where systems aren't working well seeing where authority is is completely and totally gone so we are so that is the saturn pluto and that they connected early january and just after uh -huh. that we had an eclipse so yeah and so we knew we knew that um it's hard to see that in your head some people did that the whole world can crumble mm -hmm. and that is what's happened right and some governments are doing really well and some are not right and right. so to move on to the Mercury, <clears throat> I'm going to pull up the chart. Okay. Um, let's get back to you. See if I can share my screen. Oh, no, I can't share my screen. You have to give me permission to share my screen if you want me to show a chart, but I don't have to. It's, uh, I, got, I just gave you permission. Awesome. You know how to do it. Yay. <laughs> Sometimes I have to tell people how to do it. They don't know yet. That's awesome. So here is Mercury retrograde, June 18th just after midnight, well, just before 1 a.m. here in my latitude and longitude. This is just what it looks like. And where is it? It's right here. If you live in a different part of the world, the, the earth is gonna be, the plants will be in different places. Don't even worry about any of that, but it just looks like this. It's hanging out here all by itself. It is not connecting. It's kind of not really connecting to much of anything. And so it's at 14 degrees of cancer. So I want us to look at something here. Here's the United States chart. Uh, the sun, this is the United States chart. This is the Sibley chart. There's a few out there, but this is one I've been using for a while. The sun, when we were born, the United States is at 13 cancer. And Mercury retrograde is at 14 cancer. So this country is very much impacted by this Mercury retrograde. And so what do we expect and it's Mercury will retrograde all the way back to five degrees. So that means Mercury will go between our Jupiter and our sun back and forth across this point. And we were born with Mercury ret retrograde. The United States was born with Mercury retrograde. All of that, Venus is going across Mars right now. Lots of anger, angry words that's showing up right now in the news. Mm -hmm. So a lot of angry stuff going on. So if I put these two charts together and give you Give me one second and here we are sharing again. Here's where Mercury is around here. So anyways, I know this is a lot of mumbo jumbo. What we have here is Mercury is again, the communication component and it's working through the sign of cancer, which is our emotions. And so we are, we are going to, yeah, this is going to cause more of a stir. The pot gets stirred even more throughout the summer people trying to decide what, you know, what home feels like, what our country wants and needs. We need good leadership. We need people who are, that are in leadership. I'm not just talking about the president. I'm talking about our communities as right. well, especially we need to know that we can trust them and we can feel comforted by them. 
And if that's not happening, then I want you to do it for yourself in the best way you know how. No panic buying, no feeling. We already did that. You know, remember how that felt. So what comforts you? What makes you know that you feel comforted in your home? And then start communicating that and then start connecting with those around you that you know need some comfort. And that's what that cancer energy is all about as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot going on. And I want us to use this in as comforting a way as possible. Right. Mercury right. gets there before, you know, it starts its shadow phase, which how far back it goes, where it began. And that would be um, just in a few days from now. So starting on June 2nd is when we will start to feel the area of where Mercury will retrograde once it gets to June 18th. And then it turns around. And then the third chart, let's do this one more time. I stopped sharing. Here we go. Here's when it makes its station. And that's July 12, 426 in the morning in the East Coast. July 12, 426. So and that's when it stops at five degrees on Jupiter. To me, this is when it will really peak. Because when the planet, especially Mercury, when Mercury is stationary, when all the planets are stationary, but since he moves the most in the retrograde phase, um, his retrograde stationary days are the important days. Right. But we have so much already built up. It's just going to be that way. So this, what this will do is this will help us to, as far as like gathering with friends and family, you know how we love to do this. Mm -hmm. I mean, who doesn't? The world does these things, but we celebrate the nation's birthday, but we, we love to come together in family groups. And it's like, are you, how are you willing to do that at this point in time? Right. You know, to comfort each other, to find a little bit of normalcy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So um, Mercury retrograde goes stationary July 12th. Those, that's that's right. like those three days that you always talk about where mm -hmm. it becomes yeah. intense. It, it does, it yeah. Does too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And again, we can focus on that with with even with Venus as well, because her stationary day was um, May thirteenth, and it'll be when she stations to go direct. It will be June twenty fourth. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just after Mercury goes retrograde, it's just like it's wow. It's a mess. I know it really is a mess. I mean, yeah. here's Mercury retrograde chart once again, and you can see here's Mercury stationary at, 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 um, in 14 cancer right over here is Venus is still retrograde and we have Saturn, Jupiter and Pluto retrograde. And so these, so these charts, I can stop the share now, these charts, um, and these, again, these time periods is if you're feeling intensely emotional, it's going to, it's going to come up and you're going to really feel those energies. In the meantime, we also have June 5th, um, full moon lunar eclipse. Again, I've already talked about that. I posted that really early about three days ago on my, um, my media page and on YouTube. Okay. So you can go watch that right. and watch the last two weeks. Cause the first one out there is talking about all of this Venus retrograde stuff. And the one I put out super early, just cause it's eclipsed and people need that info ahead of time. Yeah. And there's a lot of important dates in that video. So watch that okay. June 21st is the, is the summer solstice, right? But it's also um, an eclipse. Oh, at zero wow. degrees of cancer. So on June 21st, we also have Mercury retrograde, and we have Venus retrograde and a new moon eclipse in, at zero cancer. Hmm. It's intense. Yeah. yeah. And so another, and, and then we have another eclipse and all of these eclipses are banging on the United States stuff in their chart, right? Our chart. The third eclipse in the season is June is, uh, sorry, is July 5th, July 5th. <laughs> so oh. Mercury's oh, retrograde wow. through all of these eclipses, mm -hmm. mostly. Yes, he is actually through all of these eclipses. And the full moon eclipse at, um, on July 5th is at 13 Capricorn, meaning, you know, again, pushing, and, and that means the sun's in Cancer, where Mercury is. Again, come and listen. But again, we have these, you know, the, the United States is definitely going to be the big news in the world. And we're going to just see how some systems are getting pushed. Um, where people 
are needing to finally speak up. Venus retrograde in Gemini, Mercury retrograde in Cancer about what can't keep happening. Right, right. It, it, you know, it's it all, it's very intense, yes, but if you can get past the intensity, mm -hmm. boy, we need this. We need this. We, we absolutely. need this push. Uh, we need to yeah. get so that we can all pull back together and yeah. learn to trust each other and learn to love each other and learn... Um, wow all those wonderful things that we have been lacking for quite some time. I know. So. And, and there's plenty of it in, in, in a lot of pockets, but there are things that just, you know, racism is happening consistently. Right. It happens all the time. It's just, we don't see it all the time. Right. And these yeah. are things, these are these, the ugly truths that are coming up. So that aside, and that's just a big subject and it has my yeah. heart completely, but personally, Again, if there's a subject that you keep pushing down and ignoring mm -hmm. and not wanting to do the work, now is the opportunity. The universe has given everybody a two by four upside the head right. if you were not already paying attention. Yeah. yeah. If you're already doing the work and you're already paying attention, then sure, is there another layer? Absolutely. Why not take advantage of this? This is what right. critical time periods like this are about, right? So right. Like most definitely. Always. When so we when always. I read a chart my and I see where there's intensity and there's things that need to be dealt with, it's the knowledge, it's knowing. Just sitting yeah. here talking with you and understanding that um, yeah. it's, it's emotional time. That's yeah. okay. So let's deal yeah. with it individually. Yeah. And then we can be kind to people outside and hopefully that can multiply. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so find your own truth. And again, right. I know this is, there's a lot of stressors in the world, but it is okay to bring it back to yourself and to your family and those right. you love and to do the right thing. And if you're feeling that you're not interested in going back to that job, now is the time to take right. that step towards right. what, you, what your heart wants, what your soul is asking for, right. what your spirit is here to do. Because we would not be here if we didn't have the tools to handle this. Correct. And even if you are having anxiety or panic attacks or whatever, then it is your opportunity to process that energy and move through it. Fix it it's, yeah. There's nothing wrong with it and move through it. But eventually the chemical stuff can get ahead of us. So then it's your, your decision to figure out how you can make it better for yourself and get yourself into a place that feels more, um, comforted right. and nurturing and again that's that opportunity cancer um is really active right and with mercury retrograding in there so it's going to get to spend three times the amount of time in the sign of cancer in your chart wherever that is so you can learn how to care for yourself and, and one of the biggest things oh i'm glad that just finally showed up it's the negative self-talk we have got to stop that yeah oh, you would not say that to a little two-year-old that you love don't say it to yourself right Correct. You know, like, right. oh, I should have done this, or I'm fat, or I'm this, or I blah, blah, blah. We know the self-talk, especially women. Right, right. And you're right. You're absolutely right. And we want to be thankful that we're being put into this position with all this energy around us that's trying to get us to come forward. Yeah. So for sure. embrace absolutely. it, really. Turn yeah. the TV off, turn the news off and start looking around you. No, if Facebook and Instagram, I mean, I know yeah. I do a lot of my marketing there, but it's just like, I, the other day I looked and it's just like, holy cow, it's been a month since I posted anything on Instagram. Yeah. I can't keep up with it. I, I, I and I'm a Gemini, it. I can't keep up with it. And I just have to let it go because I mean, I want to stay connected with the people that want to stay connected, but I have to swipe through so much. I get dizzy and I'm like, if I'm doing that, I'm not connecting with the people I want to see right. then it's just like it's okay i i get overwhelmed too right and i oh, you know yeah. i can read all of this <clears throat> you can read all of these things the overwhelm is is a bit much and it's right. like whew. Yeah. all right so yeah. that's it for right now Ooh, that was should, wonderful and we Thank should you. talk we should make arrangements to talk let me find when the next mercury retrograde is after this one it will be in um october but we have September Mars retrograde. So maybe, um, I know this is uh, our yeah. business, we can recording, but maybe the end of August, we'll pop in I would and love that talk about Mars retrograde and then, um, yeah. and then a separate thing for Mercury, whatever. But right. stay tuned, folks. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be a big one. yeah. And you can throw in some numerology 
If yeah, you want. I like to uh, hear about that too. Yeah, uh, um, September is going to be an interesting month. Yeah. In so, what month. do you think with the with this month and and the numerology? I wouldn't mind hearing just a um, smidge of that. We're universally we're in a one personal month in June. Okay. So that that brings on intensity. That brings in aggressiveness. That brings in standing in your power. Good. So you're going to see the world stand up for itself. Um, but the, the problem with the number one is it, it can become too aggressive if okay. it gets out of balance. So um, I suspect we're going to see a little bit of that going on. But it also is a universal year, number four. And the four is about getting order, put, getting things in order, structure. Awesome. Take awesome. all that craziness out there, all those loose ends and make it something, a system of some yeah. sort. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I got to check my numbers. My birthday is June 10 and I haven't checked my numbers yet. I forgot. You have the, the one birthday, the, the um, mm -hmm. kind of, are you kind of independent, Dorothy? I'm always, <laughs> so much just, so. <laughs> just asking. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I mean, I partner up like with you for, for short things and, and Darlene for right. a few things. And, but I've, I've not had a, a steady business partnership or relation partnership right. in 10 years, nine yeah. years now. Yeah. Being a lot, being uh, in your own power is very important to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Dorothy, I thank I you very it. much. Thank and to you. all our, our listeners, we will be back. Um, we will get together in August so that we can um, reconnect and figure yes. things out. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. And don't forget, awesome. go visit Dorothy, um, get a reading from her, Dorothy Morgan. Uh, nhastrologer.com, New yes. Hampshire Astrologer. Yes, that's me. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you okay, so Dorothy. Thank you.